Okay, first question comes to uh, Jim from uh, Westwood One. Jim, please, uh, if you hear us, uh, unmute yourself and you have a floor. Hi, thank you very much. Uh, good evening, I guess, where you are. And thank you, Tarek. Uh, thank you, Chris. Thank you, everyone. My question happens to be about this Kawasaki syndrome related uh, thing with COVID-19. Uh, it, it can't be a coincidence, obviously. There's some sort of connection. What do we know so far about this connection between this inflammatory syndrome and COVID-19 in children? So thank you for this question. I can start and, and uh, perhaps others would like to supplement. So this um, syndrome, it's, we're, we're calling it multi-system inflammatory syndrome, um, is a, a condition that has, was alerted to us from our colleagues in the United Kingdom a few weeks ago, two weeks ago. Um, and it's a very rare condition um, which is causing an inflammatory disease uh, in, in young children. Um, what we've done with that information is that we've discussed this with our global clinical network, which is a group of clinicians um, across the world who are dealing with patients for COVID-19, and specifically talking with our pediatricians who are part of that uh, global network. Um, and in doing so, asking who has seen this in their countries, where they have seen it, uh, how often they have seen it, what this syndrome actually looks like. Um, and in doing so, uh, raise the alert among this global network. Um, we've heard of additional reports uh, in, a, in a few countries, including the United States, including Italy. Um, and so we're learning uh, that it seems to be a very rare syndrome, but we need more information. And we need more information collected in a systematic way because uh, with the initial reports, uh, we're getting a description of what this looks like, which is not always the same. And in some children, they've tested positive for COVID-19, but other children have not. So we don't know if this is associated with COVID-19 or not. So what we've done is through our clinical network uh, and together with our, our partners is put together a case report form. So this is, this is a data collection tool uh, in which clinicians can use to collect standardized information so that we could better understand what this disease looks like, um, how we could better uh, develop treatments uh, for this. Um, and that's important. So, so far we understand that it's rare, um, but we are hearing more and more reports about it um, because people are on the lookout. So as the Director General has said, um, and as we've said, that we need clinicians to be on alert for this, to look for it, but also to ensure that we collect standardized information so that we can better describe what this is um, and so that we can, we can develop better treatment. 